The method most commonly used to bleach teeth in conjunction with root canal treatment is the walking bleach technique. The walking bleach technique is preferred over other techniques because it requires the least chair time and is more comfortable and safer for the patient. Indications for internal bleaching are discolorations of the pulp chamber origin, dentin discoloration, and discolorations that are not amenable to external bleaching. Contraindications are superficial enamel discoloration, defective enamel formation, severe dentin loss, presence of caries, discolored proximal composites unless they are replaced after bleaching. Tooth color is evaluated with a shade guide and clinical photographs are taken at the beginning of and throughout the procedure. These provide a point of reference for future comparison by both dentist and patient. The tooth is isolated with a rubber dam. If superoxal is used, a protective cream such as petroleum jelly must be applied to the gingival tissues before dam placement. This protection, however, is not required with sodium perborate use. The restorative material is removed from the access cavity. Superoxal is used, a sufficient layer of protective glass ionomer is applied on the obturating material. This is essential to minimize leaking of bleaching agents that can cause unwarranted osteoclastic activity. The barrier should protect the dentin tubules and conform to the external epithelial attachment. Two to three millimeters of gutta percha is removed apical to the CEJ. A protective base of glass ionomer is placed of similar thickness. The walking bleach paste is prepared by mixing sodium perborate and an inert liquid such as water to a consistency of wet sand. Although sodium perborate mixed with 30% hydrogen peroxide will bleach faster, in most cases the long-term results are similar to those of sodium perborate mixed with water and therefore the former mixture should be used routinely. Another advantage of sodium perborate and inert liquid is that the protective cement barrier and gingival protection are unnecessary. The pulp chamber is then packed with the paste. Excess liquid is removed by tamping with a cotton pellet. This also compresses and pushes the paste into the recess. Excess oxidizing paste is removed from undercuts in the pulp horns and gingival area with an explorer. A cotton pellet is not used, but a thick mix of cavit is packed carefully to a thickness of at least 3 millimeters to ensure a good seal. The rubber dam is removed. The patient is informed that the bleaching agent works slowly and that significant lightening may not be evident for two or more weeks. It is common to see no change initially, but dramatic results occur in successive days or weeks or after a future application.